Gareth, I think the, the first thing to say is welcome back to the Brito. I, I thought you are pretty pleased to be here now, aren't you? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an absolute pleasure. Um, the ground's changed somewhat from last time I was here, but uh, magnificent nonetheless. Now, players always have a, a sort of career path in their mind. Was it ever in your mind when you left Surrey that you would one day be coming back to, to play your trade here again? Um, well, I suppose the career path I had in my mind, I would, I would be taking over Shane Warne on Test Wickets now. But uh, no, th things change a bit. And um, w when I left, I, I, I left obviously with, with the blessing of the club and it was to future, uh, further my uh, future in, in cricket. Um, and I, it went reasonably well for a time. Um, but I, I suppose reached a, a point where I, I could possibly progress no further at Worcester. And um, as soon as Surrey were interested, wow, it was, uh, it was a no-brainer. You know, it was uh, something I'd, I'd, I'd dreamt of, of coming back at someday. With what happened with, with Worcester last season from a team and an individual performance, do you sort of see this as a, not starting again, but clean start for you, fresh start for you? Um, to an extent. Um, I, I think, obviously, senior players have to shoulder the, shoulder the blame of what, um, you know, how, how, how poor a season it was at Worcester, and I'm, I'm no exception to that. Um, but certainly from a personal point of view, um, the opportunity to, uh, to come back here. Like you say, I, I suppose I'm at a point in my career where I've got an awful lot of knowledge stored up in my head. Um, I like to think for the last sort of eight years or so, I've, I've been a pretty consistent uh, first-class performer. Um, and it's really a, an opportunity for me to, to see if I can go to another level um, and see if I can really drive my game forward and, and hopefully within that um, be driving what will become a very successful team that is already a successful club. You said when you knew sorry, you were interested it was something of a no-brainer for you. I think I know what you're going to tell me, but but what is it about coming back to Zara? Obviously, there's the ground, but there's there's a backroom staff there that, that's second to none to work with. Yeah, I mean that's it. Um, you know, the, the opportunity to work with Ian Salisbury on a daily basis was a massive factor. Um, obviously, from talking to to, to Grizz, uh, first up, it was is an impressive man, um, and and that was something that was played a big part. Obviously, this Thorpey, um, who's brilliant, um, and really looking forward to working with um, Stewie. I've kept in touch with for forever sort of thing since, I, since I've been here um, because he's around I mean the, the list is endless uh, and the possibilities are endless that's the that's the key for me um, the, the club is very ambitious I'm still very ambitious um, and, and hopefully you know as a team and a, a bunch of players you know we've got real ambition there and we're going to roll our sleeves up and get some real hard work done with the excellence of, of the coaching staff just to sort of guide you in, in directions that are required and um, hopefully you know there's some really exciting times. Yeah, I was going to say that, this is an exciting time to, to come to this club. OK, results last season weren't what people were looking for, but you've seen what Chris Adams is marking out for the future and it's a great time to come, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. Uh, the vision that Chris has is, is very exciting for a, for a sort of a... Uh, Season pro, shall we say, like myself, you know, to, to get really excited within one conversation is uh, is pretty, you know, it's pretty impressive the direction the club's wanting to go. Um, and I think from a, a personal and a club point of view, last year was, you know, a, a bit of a, you know, an average season. Um, and th those are both things we want to turn around now. Now, senior pro, season pro, but coming into you, you look at spinners. And, uh, and you're coming into that sort of that prime time now, aren't you? At the age that you're at with the three-year contract, prime time for you. It's a difficult one, but what are your ambitions for, for your time at Surrey over those three years? Um, I suppose the obvious things, you know, people are going to turn around and say, oh, I want loads of wickets, I want silverware, I want this. I don't think that's, that, that's obviously everybody's aim, and it should be everybody's aim as soon as you pull on, you know, your professional shirt. Um, I think for me it's slightly different. It's, there's a few things... Um, I need to find the key to unlock. Um, I've been working on Dusha for, well, two or three years, really, um, and I can pretty much bowl it. It's a question now of integrating it into my uh, stock bowl off spin um, and, and progressing that. Um, and my batting to get more consistent, um, fielding, you know, to take it to another level. Um, so that the, the whole thing for me, the goal is to get every little bit um, of knowledge out of my head and put it into, um, I suppose, physical outcomes um, on the field and for me the, the processes are, are the more important thing to the outcomes I think the outcomes will take care of themselves um, so it, it's more about doing some very hard work and, and, and nailing down the little you know we're not talking about changing the wheel it's, yeah. it's tiny little things that you're trying to integrate in and those processes and those tiny little things you'll be working on the majority here we, we just spoke about this here during the winter with that coaching staff at the Brit Oval weren't you? Oh, definitely. Um, I start back sort of uh, November. Um, bit of relaxing now. Um, 
basically in, in preparation for I'm expecting it to be, you know, well not expecting it, will be the hardest uh, winter of, of my career. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some real burning ambition and it, I've almost got the, the excitement back um, for, the, for the hard work and, and for, the, for the game, um, which is partly due to obviously talking to Chris and everything about the place and the coaching staff that I can possibly tap into. Um, I appreciate they can't do it for me, um, but they've got incredible knowledge and I've got a little bit sort of stashed away that if we can sort of marry everything together, it, it's very exciting times and I really do feel that um, you know I can really take my game forward. And of course, beginning of this year, you're playing one-day international cricket for England in the West Indies. Now, I know that's still a, a burning ambition of yours, isn't it, to, to still play international cricket? Yeah, it certainly is. Um, you know, I, I sort of, well, I suppose the majority of my international career has been carrying drinks a bit. You know, I've been on sort of three or four tours and um, a couple of tours I was involved in playing-wise. Um, I've sort of flirted with the with the international scene, I suppose, um, and it's something that I think I require. I, I think I know what's required to, to succeed. Um, the discipline that I do, um, and I think I'm very close to, to sort of adding that extra string to the bow or. or going up to another level um, and certainly I think with the addition of, of, of different balls in, in my armoury which it, it all just needs sort of blending together now um, I really do think that if if I ever got a chance again I could make a you know a difference um, and you, you're more ready for that for that if, if the opportunity arises. A final question for you main priority now is hard work over the winter and then hit the ground running for Surrey at the start of next season. Oh definitely um, you know I mean I've, I've spoken about myself a lot there but um, the most important thing is, is Surrey being the best team in, in the country and going back to, I suppose, when I left the club, they were very much the, the powerhouse, the Man United, call it whatever you want, of, of cricket in England. Um, and that is very much the, the driving force behind, uh, behind everything and, and that is why I'm so excited and, and, and want to hopefully do my bit um, to, to drive that forward. Great to see you. Good to have you back. Thank you very much.